Odyssey Camper here with the last installment I'm going to do on these Die Hard battery packs. Uh, before I go, I want to show you how you can add an extra battery and have double the capacity out of one of these battery packs. This method will work with either the Die Hard or the Schumacher that I've talked about in other videos. And everything you see here, you'll be able to get on Amazon either through a link below or you can just go to your local Ace Hardware if you have one. And everything that you're going to see here can be purchased, including the battery. Ace Hardware carries these replacement batteries. Sometimes Sears has them, but not always. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to take one of these SAE quick disconnects. I've used these in other videos. Again, there'll be a link down below. And I'm just going to grab my 12 volt plug that I purchased and make sure that when I line these up, the red wire goes to the red wire. And then I'm going to look at the other end. I'm going to cut that off. Now, I know I'm using a pair of 10 snips here, but it's what's at hand, and they work fine for this. I'm going to strip both of these ends. And if you don't have one of these fancy uh, wire strippers, don't worry about it. Uh, if you don't have the tools, you can go to any radio shop and uh, where they install radios, and they'll be happy to help you for a couple bucks. They'll do the wire stripping and crimp on the connectors. So this is a 16 gauge wire. I'm going to use a blue crimp type connector with a ring and that ring will fit the, the bolts that go in the battery post. I'll slide that on the end there. I'm going to take my wire crimpers. Freeze that on. Grab another one of those blue connectors. Might be a little short on the strip there. Let's see. No, that'll work. And crimp that on. So I've got both crimp lugs on there. I could connect them to the battery right now, but let me talk about one other part. So if I were to connect it to the battery right now, I would end up having a 12 volt live point right here. So that would be live, it could short out against something, blow the fuse inside, so I don't want to do that. Uh, the reason I use this disconnect is so that I could separate the battery from the plug. But another problem occurs with this type of connector where you'll notice that the red or the hot wire is exposed on this side, and on this side it's hidden, and they're assuming one side will always be live. Here we have the potential that if this is plugged into the battery pack, it could be live, if this is connected to the battery, it will be live. So we need another solution. I think they make caps for these. I'm gonna go looking for them, but I couldn't find one before the video. So what I did is I just grabbed a pin type crimp connector, and that'll slide right over the hot part, and that'll work just fine. If it's on there, it can't fall off, and it insulates, it prevents that from shorting out against anything. Now I can go ahead and connect red to red, black to black. I've got my wires in place, so I'll just go ahead and tighten them up on the terminal with an uh, 8mm wrench. These batteries come with bolts already in them. They should. Uh, if not, you'll have to pick some up at the hardware store, but the ones that it comes with can be tightened with an 8mm wrench. Now I've cinched those down. I can go ahead and connect the 12 volt connector. So the way you want to do this is you want to connect your 12 volt plug into the die hard and then connect it to the battery. So we'll go ahead and do that. Once it's in there, I can safely plug my battery into the connector. So all this is is a long cord, the 12 volt cigarette adapter, plug it into this quick disconnect. Red to red, black to black. And that's really all you need to do. Now you can put this battery, locate it someplace else remotely. Just remember to disconnect here before you plug into it. One word of warning about this arrangement. You wanna make sure your batteries are charged before you connect them together. If one battery is charged and the other is discharged, you could potentially pass enough current through this wire that you would blow out the fuse in the cigarette adapter. It's replaceable, they're a 15 amp fuse, uh, but you just want to make sure that they're both charged. Now in this arrangement, if I, I were to plug the diehard into the wall, I can actually charge both batteries. It'll take 
a lot longer because they've got more battery capacity, but the internal charger will charge both of them when they're plugged together like this. If you're using solar, and you're using solar to charge your diehard, you can plug into the other 12 volt here, and you can charge both of them. Um, same way when you're driving. So if you use a charge controller running into your 12 volt connector here, as you drive down the road, it'll charge both batteries. And that'll be all I have to say about these diehard power units, unless somebody has questions. Uh, I think we've uh, beaten it to death and done everything we can with them. And now I'm going to get on with the bed build in my Phase 2 Honda Odyssey. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.